Well, hello, my dears. This is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com, and today we will be discussing all things modern farmhouse. So, for the last decade, we've been deep into the farmhouse style, which Joanna Gaines really lit a fire under. And as I've taught about before, trends have a 10 year shelf life. So coming up into 2020, 2021, I knew we would begin to see some dramatic shifts going on in interior design. Farmhouse has run its course, I believe, and I'm seeing it really split in two directions. So one is the granny chic, cottage core, ultra girly, floral, just cozy, some people would say cluttered look. And then the other branch that I'm seeing happen is called modern farmhouse. So there's still some things that are residual, so you'll see still a lot of white walls and baskets, and we still love our blankets and our throw pillows and white uh, curtains and things, but it's gotten a lot more streamlined, a lot more European, and more modern. So there's three different types of, in three main genres of interior design. So there's traditional, which I'm hardcore traditional, and a lot of us here are. Then there's transitional, because it's halfway between traditional and contemporary. I don't do contemporary, I don't like it. Don't ask me to do it, I won't do a good job for you. <laughs> but I do I do like some transitional looks. And mid-century modern, we have a whole video on that. That is a great example of transitional. So it's merging traditional, just that old world, beautiful, turn of the century look with contemporary, and you get this hodgepodge look. I actually would say modern farmhouse is pretty transitional. So let's really break it down and I can give you a good flavor for the pieces that go into this look. Now the queen of modern farmhouse, like Joanna Gaines was the queen of farmhouse, I say Shay McGee is the queen of modern farmhouse. So she and her husband have McGee and Company, they have a whole line at Target and they have Studio McGee for their design company. I think there's like 90 employees there. They have a new Netflix show, which is really worth watching. It's called Dream House Makeover. And they're just cute and fun. And they just had a, a new baby and they have a, a book out. And they, so now they have three little girls. And anyway, they're a fun family to follow along on. And if you love this look, you're going to love Shay McGee, everything she does. A lot of the examples I'm using today are from her work and her products. So we're still very neutral. That has that has held over from the farmhouse look. But we've got a little bit more contrast coming on, which I think people are enjoying. A lot of people complain about how white everything was with with farmhouse. And now there's a lot of black coming in for good contrast. So I see this in windows. I don't recommend getting black windows because again, we're talking 10 years. So windows are gonna last, they're very, very expensive, tens of thousands of dollars, and they're going to last beyond 10 years, so I would steer you away from the black windows, but if you have them, enjoy them. They are beautiful, for sure. Black windows, black accent walls, um, with really great millwork on them. I see, of course, um, black, a lot of times like a black island, like they call it the tuxedo kitchen, so the upper cabinets are white, the, and the lower cabinets or maybe the island are a really dark color. Also black glassed cabinets where they're displaying things, um, maybe in a dining room. And especially the arched ones, those are super trendy and cute. I really like how a lot of times um, Modern Farmhouse brings in navy and then they warm it up with some really great wood tones or some cognac leather. I love that look together. So as we go along, I'll be pointing out things that I like about this look and things that I don't like as much. So your floors a lot of times are raw wood. There's a lot of like white oak going on and raw wood furniture. This is one of my favorite parts is the look of a plaid rug. Now I haven't seen a lot of that before now but I love that look and Shay McGee has several options in her rug line. In kitchens I see a lot of Carrera marble 
or a wood countertops and they're very very spacious a lot of times just have this massive island that has a sink in it a lot of thought and money goes into a gorgeous faucet and really nice like brass hardware all the cabinet fronts are shaker style so I wouldn't veer from that if you're going for this look you want shaker style cabinetry a lot of times you'll see hanging copper pots maybe over the sink or over the stove um, I also see them putting a ton of money into their stoves so very European style stoves like starting at three grand and on up we still have open shelving going on full speed ahead just like we had from the Joanna Gaines era that she had still open shelves but we're styling them a lot more simply with the modern farmhouse so just real simple bowls and maybe like one cutting board and like neutral colored a couple of neutral colored cookbooks or something a lot of times in these spacious kitchens I'll see a really pretty runner you know that goes along right in front of the stove I love that look olive trees in all sizes so little topiaries you know next to the copper pots in the kitchen or you know ones in the dining room that are you know seven feet tall for furniture they've really added in this this combination look so there's a lot of seeing the frames on armchairs you'll see wooden armchairs and then they might have like a linen seat in back with just real simple lines or leather lots of wooden leather combined and end tables are super organic and funky and they'll be um, just odd shapes and you know bent legs and concrete really sculptural looking couches are beautiful beautiful linen I love the couches going on right now really sleek lines a lot of times one cushion to sit on that's a very modern farmhouse and I think one of my favorite things about this look are the throw pillows and I will always check the Studio McGee pillows when I'm shopping in need of pillows because they just have a fantastic selection of block prints and um, just muted colors and really high quality pillows are some of my very favorite and I love how she combines them with her textures and patterns she just nails it a lot of times I see either white linen curtains or no curtains at all they are have this look is heavily dependent I think on on natural daylight and then for lighting this is actually not my favorite but they will a lot of times use ultra modern lighting that's where you see the modern really come in I prefer the look with a lot of times over an island they'll do really huge pretty expensive pendants and maybe like they're brass lined inside or they're hammered copper or something and I think those are really pretty I'm just not a fan of the like super funky modern looks but those pendants and chandeliers are oftentimes mixed into this look for wall decorations you're gonna want to think just sleek round mirrors and the artwork has just simple gold frames with really like watery um, I really like them just like landscapes but like quiet kind of watery layered ombre looking paintings that's a go-to with this or like something kind of sketchy just with black sketch you know like maybe a flower that's sketched with a black pen or something that's very modern farmhouse you'll see a lot of like pottery style vases and then maybe just a branch in it or the olive little olive branch in there lamps are super sculptural and a lot of people are doing knockoff versions so so Natalie from my vintage porch on Instagram she will grab she does this all the time but she'll to get lamps from Goodwill and then she has this technique with baking soda and I don't know what all she uses but she like makes it look like cement and gets a good textured um, like crusty layered look on the on the base of the lamp just and then just real simple streamlined lampshades and that's your go-to for a modern farmhouse lamp okay so I hope that you enjoyed that little rundown on all the details that have to do with modern farmhouse if you love this look let me know in the comments below and if there's things that you like about it but that you you 
want to change kind of how I am where I, I love certain things and the other ones I, I'm not as interested in. I'm interested to know what you think. So one order of business that I want to remind you of, if you're interested in joining my design group, we only open twice a year to the public and it's coming up. It's this next week and if you want to get on the email list so you hear all the details about like the early bird prizes and things you can get I'm gonna put a link in in the description below it's my behind the scenes wait list if you give me your email I will keep you posted and I would love to see you in class all right if you're new here please consider hitting that subscribe button so I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy take care I'll talk to you soon